it should be. There we go. <laughs> All right, so this is us. We're nuts enough uh, to try up the snow. This is Patrick, incidentally. How's it, guys? <laughs> and Mark, who's leaving us. Yeah. All alone. I'm, I'm uh, not brave enough. <laughs> no. But you guys have fun. So this is our snow. We're about to drive up to uh, the car park and try a little bit of snow walking. <laughs> we set off from Sentinel Car Park into a buffeting wind and icy snow stinging our faces. Although working against the wind was pretty hard, the actual scenery around us was completely breathtaking, with clouds whipping past below us and a view of Sentinel coming in and out from the icy shrouds around us. Almost as soon as we made it to the neck, a prominent tree halfway up towards the chain ladder, the wind disappeared and we had the snow dust slopes of the Drakensberg set before us. From here we made our way round the neck, avoiding some of the worst dumps of snow and contoured along the base of the basalt cliffs of the Drakensberg to the now infamous chain ladder. The chain ladder is actually a pair of chain ladders reaching approximately 30 meters vertical and having about 50 rungs apiece. No ropes are required, but a steady nerve and a good head for heights are helpful. Okay, so I've just got to the top of the first ladder. We're on our way up to uh, the second ladder, which you can see behind me now. Uh, doing well so far. Uh, a little bit tired, I've got two youngsters with me, so they're making me feel my age, definitely. Probably gonna strike up the second ladder in a second. It's stunning out here. Here's the view. Absolutely beautiful. So it's dead quiet up here. The snow kind of dampens all kind of sound, which is Pretty cool, I must say. Uh, we're almost at the hut now. Uh, it's just ahead. I'll pan to it in a moment. The Tagela Falls is just over there, although it's probably iced up. And we've got two other people who I think are in a, a tent tonight. They're not going to come join us in the, the hut by the looks of it. That's if we do in the hut. Uh, yeah, pretty epic. It's almost sunset. No sunset for us, but still amazing to be up here in the snow. A quick change of plan had us setting up tents instead as the light rapidly disappeared. Okay, so this is the, what, uh, Café Chez... Berg? <laughs> I don't know. It, we're in my tent, squeezed oh, inside la. here. We've got Iana and Pat squeezed oh, in, that's... trying to keep warm <laughs> as well. Both been Pat. <laughs> Both been Pat. It's, we're, we've got snow outside. It's not actually that cold, isn't it? Mm. Well, I don't know. It looks like a little smoke. Well, thing. this is the most frost that came out of my mouth, like, ever. <laughs> it must be because of the tent. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're going to uh, settle in, have some nice supper, and then tomorrow I'm morning so it should look epic. <laughs> hungry. Mm. Time to eat. Good morning. Right, uh, we are standing in a field of snow. We had to, I, I have no idea, five centimeters, seven centimeters of snow last night. The, uh, you can just, just, just make out Eastern Buttress and Devil's Tooth. And we've got our little campsite in the background over here. Pat's busy emerging from his little red um, condom. And uh, we're going to make our way to the edge. There's not much of the sunrise because we've got completely overcast conditions. But it's still pretty epic to be up here. It's really nice. We're going to get some really interesting photographs of the snow against the side of the mountain and stuff. So, wow. And pretty cold last night, but survivable. The escarpment wall is usually a 1,000 meter vertical drop of incredible views. Instead, we were met by a wall of white cloud and snowfall that just never seemed to dissipate. A momentary break in the cloud allowed us to get some glimpse of the valleys far, far below as we struggled against condensing lenses and snow that kept on needing to be wiped from the front of them.
So it's completely clouded over now. Uh, it's about uh, 10, well actually, what is the time? It's um, 10 o'clock. So we've had a fantastic morning photographing the valleys down below, but the clouds have come in completely. So I've spent some time instead getting to know icy over here. Tomorrow, perhaps it'll open up again and we'll get some more light. Uh, we haven't seen the sun, obviously, because it is completely overcast. But so far it's been fantastic, an absolute uh, magical winter wonderland. Really glad that I made the effort to come up here. We'll see what happens tomorrow and also hopefully later on this afternoon. And maybe these clouds will lift. See what happens then. I'll take that back. Very little did happen as the cloud got thicker, confining us to our campsite and the visibility disappeared. Okay, it snowed all night. I'm filming on my iPhone now because I think my camera is going to get frosted up if I bring it out. The, um, we've got about a foot of snow, maybe two foot outside. It didn't, it's still snowing. I'm not sure if we're going to get out today, to be honest, but here's my view of my feet and there we go. Winter wonderland out there. So tents were buried. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Hey, good morning. So we've had a little bit of, uh, quite a lot of snow overnight. Patrick and Iana's tent even broke with the snowfall itself. It's snowing again. We had a bit of a clearing a moment ago, but uh, considering the weather at the moment, we might stay another day simply for safety's sake. The snow, I mean a foot of it at the moment. It's, uh, we had some amazing views, but it is, it's not, it's not safe to actually travel down the mountain potentially. So we'll give it a go, wait until the, the sky clears a little bit and make another judgment call later on. But for the time being, we're warm, we have food, safe. Looking forward to a nice restful day. Trudging back to the campsite through drifts of knee-high snow, we were feeling a little disheartened. And then the clouds broke. Iana's tent broken by the snow load, we opted to clear the camp by digging our tents out and prep for potentially leaving the mountain. Further clearing of the clouds meant we could make a dash for the chain ladder despite the heavy snow that we had to plough through. I've climbed this ladder literally over a hundred times and I have to say I hate it, but uh, it, yeah. going down was easy enough this time, despite the cold. We're almost on our way down now, we've got about 40 minutes of walking left. We've decided to come down after all, despite the weather, we've sort of cleared, so it's actually it made sense. Um, we're just coming down a little ladder now. And then it's just a hop, skip and a walk and we're back to the car park. What an incredible weekend. Uh, you can still see some pretty epic skyline behind me with all the, the snow. So I've got a lot of processing ahead of me now. 